What's going on YouTube? Gravesinder here and welcome back to Tutorial Town for another tutorial video and how to. Today, today we're going to be focusing on terraforming and terraforming only. That is why you're here and that is exactly what we're going to be doing. In Tutorial Town, essentially what this uh, what this town is uh, for is of course for learning for those of you guys that need help with the game and uh, want to see how things are done. Nothing fancy, just uh, something that's uh, that's ongoing and uh, me bringing, uh, bringing you content for YouTube so you can learn how to play the game. And uh, the update before the Natural Disasters DLC released uh, terraforming, so that was not part of the, uh, the Natural Disasters DLC itself. And um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure you guys know that you don't have to buy the DLC, the Natural Disasters DLC, in order to get terraforming. But where you would find terraforming is under the landscaping tab, right over towards the uh, the Natural Disasters on the right side, second from uh, from the right. Click on it, and the very first tab is going to be called Landscaping Tools or terraforming, as everybody calls it. So, first one is going to be the shift terrain. That one you can have three different sizes. You can have a small. So let's make a uh, let's make a small mountain, if you will, or a hill. So that is the very first small option. You can go medium. You can make a bigger one. just like that or you can go large you can make a large one so you can see the uh, the differences there in the brush sizes themselves same thing goes uh, the other way so if you wanted to make a small let's say uh, hole you can just um, push uh, push the button on Xbox it's X I believe on uh, PlayStation it would be the square and that would make a small hole go into medium that would make a medium hole and same thing for the large that would make a large hole This is great if you guys wanted to make um, small custom lakes in uh, in your city. Kind of like what I did just right over here. So not a lake really, but I don't know. I, I wouldn't call this a lake, but you get the uh, you get the idea of what I'm trying to say. Next up is going to be the um, the level terrain. So let's go back into small. Let's say you wanted to make everything the same height as the uh, the tip of this small hill. You just go over the center, push the uh, the X button on PlayStation or the I'm sorry, the X button on Xbox or the uh, square on PlayStation. Select it. And then you, you make the same height everywhere. How? It's not funny business. It's money business. You give your money to us, and it will grow with interest. That's the plan, at least. Maybe and you don't even have to make it right next to it. You can make it, uh, or you don't have to make it parallel to it. You can make it anywhere. So let's say I wanted to make it right here. And you fed it more money, and after digesting, it would... Uh, okay. You want to go money fishing, so you use a little money to there you go. big money. You know, just come in and talk to Same thing goes for the uh, the medium brush. You can select the, uh, like, the center point. Feed the money monster. Coffee. And make the same thing. The age old Italian tradition of burning beans and drinking. And then also same thing, large brush. Let's go over the uh, the center and voila. Perfect. Likewise if you're trying to uh, to make a lake or uh, or um, lower the terrain. You go into the uh, the small, 
select the uh, small area and there you go you can even expand from there we go into medium and then finally the large it's a tale about opening your heart, finding acceptance, and inventing the most efficient means of shipping and packaging the So again, make sure you guys are just selecting the uh, the exact height that you want it to be. The tool is called Level Terrain. So let's say, for example, you're just flattening some land, and you want everything to be this height right here. You just select the height anywhere you want it to be, and then you just push and, uh, push and drag. Just like so. That makes everything the uh, the even terrain that you wanted it to be. This is Rock City, where if it's not rock, it's not well. Next one up is going to be soft and uh, soft and terrain tool, and uh, this is one of my uh, one of my favorites to use in the game itself. So I like to use it with a uh, medium brush. Actually, let's uh, let's just go over here. We'll take a large and let's just make a large whatever you want to call it so just something like this for example right soften terrain tools is exactly what uh, what it is and what it means you can soften the terrain so if you don't want it to look just uh, just like so you want it to be more um, more natural I think the word is just click uh, or push the button and drag kind of uh, it kind of just rounds it off so it doesn't make it look as uh, as abrupt as it did when you first uh, when you first built it so you'll see what I mean here when we get done you can do this however long you want and however you want your uh, your um, thing uh, thing to look like so that's exactly what it did over here for us. It just it completely rounded it off. So if you see here, and we uh, we do the same thing. So it's just gonna round off whatever you've built. Just like that. So there's the uh, the one corner, and then here's the the other corner. So it kind of. It rounds out the edges, really, is what it does. And here you can see, then, if you push... Um, instead of the uh, the A button on Xbox if you push the X button on Xbox or square on uh, on PlayStation this has a uh, an even bigger impact so you see how it kind of just rounded that off completely same thing over here So let's uh, let's take this um, end right here for example. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just holding the X button for a long time. So you see kind of what it did there. So I guess depending on where you're at, um, it could almost level the uh, the whole thing for you. Yep, and then the uh, the very last one is going to be the slope terrain. Now this one I don't use a lot, but um, let me show you what the purpose is. 
So let's go ahead and make another large area. So just like so. Let's uh, let's level it to be the same height everywhere. That is uh, that is good enough. All right, so check this out. So if you take the the slope terrain tool and uh, let's just use a medium brush for now, and you want to make a uh, a slope. So let's say you're putting a road at the top of the area right here, and you want it to be uh, kind of smooth, if you will. So what I do is I just I tap the uh, the A button on Xbox, and I think it's actually the uh, the X button on PlayStation, and it slopes the uh, the area for you. What uh, or how it will not work, or not work well enough? Uh, there we ran out of soil. Um, that's okay. Let's just go ahead and make some, or grab some. Perfect. All right. Now going back to medium brush. So if you just push and hold and drag, it's not really gonna gonna have that effect. So you see how it's not really a slope. So what you're doing now uh, with the uh, the slope tool is you've just gotta kind of click the uh, the button on your whatever the console is that you're playing. And that is how you make a slope. Now the the nice thing is you can place a road here if you want. And it looks much better than if you just placed a road from here to here. Right? So that's what the uh, the slope tool is uh, is intended to do is create a um, a slope for you. Perfect. All right. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is uh, how to make a uh, sunken highway, or even a raised highway. Just uh, just do the opposite of everything that I do. So we're gonna start off with a medium brush. We're gonna lower the terrain. Oh, say, right about there should be enough. Again, you can make this as as deep as you want, or as uh, or as high as you want if you're making a, a raised highway. We're gonna come and uh, take the uh, the level terrain tool. We're gonna take the center point, and we are just gonna make that the same height throughout. To make things a little bit easier, let's go ahead and select the larger brush. Perfect. There we go. And now let's go ahead and take a road. I'm gonna put it through there, perfect. And another nice thing is, let's say for example, you wanted, uh, you didn't want this big old space right here. Let's say you created a uh, too big of an area. If you come over here and you take the, uh, the level terrain tool, let's go medium brush for, uh, for example, you come as close to the road as you can it's actually not going to raise the road. It's, it keeps the road at the uh, the height where uh, where you originally placed it. Just like so. And voila, you've got a uh, sunken road or a sunken highway. This can also be used for a uh, for a railroad too if you if you wanted to have a, a sunken uh, sunken railroad. That works as well. Now what you can do is over the top, and this will happen sometimes if you don't have it. Um, let's see here. 
if you don't have it low enough sometimes you might not be able to uh, to make a bridge across so for example right here actually that worked yeah so depending on where you select the road so if you select it on one of the inner squares well that proved uh, proved to be uh, to be wrong I guess you just uh, you have to play with it. You get the idea of it. You can customize it to your liking, um, but you just have to play with it to make it uh, to make it look however you want it to look. I personally really like the idea of making a uh, sunken highway or a sunken road, a railroad, as well. Um, one, it uh, it takes up space. Two, you don't uh, you don't run into connections with the railroad and uh, and the actual street or the road itself so that's a uh, I thought that was a pretty neat idea and uh, and how to do something like that all right next one next one is going to be how do you make keys by uh, by making the terrain the same height I've had a lot of questions from you guys on the on this so let me show you what I've figured out Let's say, um, mm, how should I show you guys the example over here? So let's let's take uh, take the large brush. We'll select this terrain right here, for example, and we will make. We need more soil. coming back over here so we're gonna select the same height again there we go perfect I think that should be just enough for now there we go all right so now if you're in a in your pause mode this may not work for you because you see how it's uh, how it's snapping over here to where it thinks that the shoreline is still there, right? And over here, it doesn't work because it says shoreline required. What you have to do is you have to let the game run. That's it. You just have to let the game run. The uh, the terrain right here will uh, will adjust. Sometimes you might get a little bit of flooding. Sometimes you might not. So see, like right there. So after it gets done flooding. You've, uh, you've adjusted the area or kind of updated the game on what's going on with your terrain all right guys I just wanted to uh, to kind of speed up the video a little bit to make the other uh, water go away a little bit quicker looks like it's hanging out in that area but that's okay that does not bother us so check this out now now you can place the uh, the keys right here and you can go around however you like just like so if you don't like the height if uh, if you think that they're uh, they're too high no problem you just uh, you just have to lower the terrain let's uh, let's come right here for example right that is uh, that is pretty high ish right about there so all you've got to do is lower the terrain itself be careful of flooding of course so let's set that height oh not enough soil There we go. So let's say where we were, let just right here for now. Uh, medium brush. Let's select this height right here. We're lowering the uh, the terrain. I expect some flooding, of course, sometimes when uh, when you go too low. We do have the game on three speed, so this should be updating the game on what we're doing with the uh, the terrain itself. 
There we go. We had, yeah, just a little bit of water come through. And you go back into your keys tool. And for this one, let's just make a straight line. If it'll let us, and it will, it'll let us come to right about there. So you see how much lower it is right now? I like doing this if I'm placing, um, like let's say, uh, fishing piers. They're much lower down to the ground. Also restaurants and everything else that, that comes along with. Two, three, four. There we go. So you guys get the idea. Also, another question that I had from one of you guys is, uh, well, if this is placed right here, I can't really place a road right next to the uh, the key. It's always farther away. Well, that's okay. As long as it's about, uh, say, this close right here, it's connected to the road. So you don't have to have it all the way up against. Actually, you can't have it up against the uh, the key itself but the uh the sims get the idea so you see this one over here is not connected i'm just gonna put the road close to it and bam road connection is there so that's one of the reasons why you would want the uh, the keys lower for example let's say if we were to to place the same um items over here on the taller you see how uh how kind of funky that looks compared to what we have going on over here or is it some more uh, more of a natural look itself Alright guys, so I just wanted to show you something that I uh, put together really quickly. This took me all of about maybe 10 minutes to assemble. The longest thing that it took is for the uh, for the water to fill in right here. Um, but the sky's the limit, really. So with the uh, the ability now to terraform in the, uh, the console version for Xbox and uh, PS4, you can create anything and make it look as, as nice as you want it to look like. Or, um, or as creative as you want it to look like, or as crazy. I'm sure some of you guys are going to come up with some uh, pretty crazy uh, stuff in your own cities. But thanks again for watching. Again, this is uh, Gravesender. I uh, make these videos every once in a while as far as a tutorial goes. I mainly do, um, do Let's Play series on Xbox One and uh, PS4. So... Again, for a console version, if you guys are interested in, uh, in a really good Let's Play, um, you can uh, you can check it out over in my Snowfall playlist is the uh, the one that I'm doing right now. If you haven't subscribed already and you found the video helpful, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button. It's really helping out my channel, especially a small channel like mine. And um, if you have any questions for me regarding the game or terraforming, feel free to comment down below. If I can help in any way, I definitely will. Give the video a like if you liked it. Alright guys, thank you so much. And um, as always, have a good time.